In this brief demonstration, we're going to take a look at how headers or basically headings, this happens to be a paragraph style called first heading, heading one. Uh, we're going to notice how that this is actually picked up at the top of the page. Here you can see that this heading, which says first heading on this page, is picked up twice um, on the left hand side of the top of the page and also on the right hand side. I'm going to get rid of this uh, catalog for a moment. Let's find out why this is. Something is making this happen on the master page, but you'll notice that the text is different in these two headings. And also notice if I update the text, for instance, if I change this to all caps and update it, notice that it has automatically updated in the header of the page. So let's take a look at our um, master page because our goal is we'd like to have the first and the last instance show up. So in other words, what I want to have happen is to have this text that I have highlighted appear here, and I'd like to have this paragraph, which is the last instance of a heading one, appear over here. And we just need to make a slight change to do that. By going to the master pages, first of all, we can make this a wee bit larger. We're going to notice that the same user variable is used twice. It's called running header footer two. And if I were to double click on this, this will come up in my variable tab, pod at the bottom. And if we were to edit this, we could see how it's being created. It basically says angle bracket dollar sign paratext. And then we have the name of the paragraph inside of square brackets. A very simple change will allow us to pick up the second instance instead of the first. I'm going to copy all of this formula, control C, because I plan to use it again. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to replace this with a variable that I'm not using, heading one. So I'm just going to double click on it. You notice this is now heading one. And if we go ahead to edit its meaning, it's different. It's actually picking up a paragraph that I don't want, uh, title. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the definition of our other variable over here. And we only need to make one simple change. You just need to go right after the opening square bracket and add a plus and a comma. And that will actually tell FrameMaker that it, want, that it wants you to pick up the last instance of that paragraph tag on the page. So I'm going to say edit, which is going to update the definition and close it. And if you look closely down here at the bottom where my cursor is, you'll see that running header footer one, which we have over here on the right hand side, is picking up the last instance and running header two is picking up the first instance. Now, this actually should be enough to accomplish our goals. Let's go back to the body page and see if it worked. And when we go to the body page, you can see that it did indeed work. Notice that over here where it says first heading on this page, that's appearing here. And notice over here where we have the last instance of heading one, that's being picked up here. And just to prove to you that this works, I'm going to go ahead and change this to all caps. And let's go ahead and redisplay the page. And you'll see that only this heading redisplayed, not this one. What's commonly called dictionary heads, where you want to pick up the first instance of the paragraph style, like heading one, and you also want to pick up the last instance of a paragraph style, like heading one. It's just that simple. You can do it too. And this concludes our brief FrameMaker 11 demonstration.